I think that's really why Sanctum 1.5 came about was, you know, at any given time there's probably 10 women um, living with HIV who haven't been given the opportunities, A, to um, have good health in terms of the fact that they're living kind of chaotic lifestyles, they don't have housing, they're struggling with addiction. So really, Sanctum 1.5 uh, was, the vision for it was to, to give them kind of first and foremost the basic necessities of life in terms of housing and food, but more importantly, to get them on treatment for their HIV. Because uh, the thing about HIV is it's really easy to treat, but you have to be 95% compliant. And so if you're, if you're living a very chaotic lifestyle, that becomes very difficult. The average Canadian is only 50% compliant with their medication. So we're asking somebody who's struggling with homelessness and addiction, and, um, and we're asking them to be 95% compliant. So by bringing them to Sanctum, we can provide them the practical support in terms of housing and food and shelter, um, but more importantly, provide them the specialized wraparound support so that they can have the opportunity to parent their children. We do have to try and get a piece of ID. Not having any ID, of course, that's gonna be a challenge. Um, we have to try and access some uh, services like mental health and addiction services. We have to go and try and get a prescription for methadone. Um, we have to go and buy ourselves a meal, of course, not having any money, so we're gonna have to try and find a way to make money. So, you know, just different tasks like that. I hope the public takes away that, you know, there are people suffering out there, that they deserve as much as anybody else does, no matter what, and that, you know, if they take a little closer look at those people walking around the streets and maybe not, you know, just pass them by, just take a little bit of extra time to think about who they are and where they came from and maybe help them out a little. In terms of uh, the heat of the day, we're, we're going to have to deal with uh, 26 degrees Celsius, not having water when we want and maybe need it, and also in terms of finding shade and shelter. And as the day goes on, if we've been out in the heat a long time and, and uh, come the end of the day, have we had the proper food, have we had the proper water, and how are we going to deal with that through the night then into Saturday where it will compound? I think the main message really is uh, we can always talk about an understanding of of all of our community, whether it be that business person walking through downtown in a three-piece suit, mm -hmm. or whether it be a homeless person. But it's really about um, a better understanding of sanctum and AIDS, HIV, and homelessness. And if we can raise the awareness for that, I, I think we can make a difference in our community.